All right, let's talk about NPR's firing of Juan Williams. First thing I want to say is that Juan Williams is a good personal friend of mine and has been for many years. Talk about the firing and why it came about, Naftali. Well, just to talk about exactly what happened, Juan Williams, who is uh, uh, an NPR, uh, was an NPR analyst, appeared on Bill O'Reilly's show on Fox News, and the discussion had to do with um, uh, w- with Muslims and with uh, the, <laughs> the New York Mosque and a series of, of issues relating to that. And he made the comment that people in Muslim garb, when he sees them uh, uh, in airports and airplanes, it makes him nervous. And NPR made the decision that that was an inappropriate comment for one of their analysts to make. Uh, and so they fired him. Um, he was quickly rehired by Fox News. He had already been doing some work for them, but was hired in a bigger context uh, with, I believe, a $2 million contract. Uh, and that's sort of where it stands. I, I mean, you know, the unfortunate thing in a way is people immediately uh, sort of fell into their corners. And so conservatives are furious at NPR for letting him go. Liberals are mad at Fox News for hiring him. And I think every, everybody's kind of going back into their ideological um, uh, you know, corners in a way that's, that's, that's unfortunate. It seems like everybody's yelling at each other right now over, over an issue that really originated in a discussion of, the, of Muslims and 9-11 and things that are kind of important to talk about. You know, the other thing was that Bill O'Reilly went on to make further disparaging comments about Muslims saying that it was they who were responsible for 9-11. And uh, Juan quickly came back and said, you know, you cannot say that. It was a certain group of individuals. He said, you can't condemn all Christians for what Timothy McVeigh did. What do you think, Susan? You, you know, the, the, the headline on the uh, Washington Post editorial this morning is, is is rush to judgment. And I think that's the reaction of a lot of people and some comparisons even to the case of Shirley Sherrod, the, the agriculture department uh, staffer who was fired. T- t- two things we'd want NPR to do. One is to look at the entire interview, not just the clip that got pulled out. Uh, about being nervous when he's at an airport and sees people in Muslim guard. Make sure that the whole context, you're making a decision in the context of everything he said. The other thing that I think was distressing um, is Juan Williams has worked as a uh, for NPR for 10 years. You think you deserve to be fired face to face. To get a phone call and not have a chance to make your case, talk about, have a conversation about it, I think is the process is distressing. One of the things that we all try to do, it seems to me, and NPR joins in this, is that there's a total lack of restraint in the public dialogue in that the, somebody will say something, it will be taken out of context, and immediately everybody rushes to both sides, and there's a huge fight over the snippet of what they've said. And we all are supposed to run in and say, no, wait a minute, this was in a larger context. It was said in this way. It might have been misspeaking. It might have been something else. You know, think about the larger picture here. Don't fly off the handle. Don't, as David Brooks says, live off the handle, which is where most of the dialogue takes place. And so it seems in this case that, that NPR has gone against uh, by by sort of joining in the off-the-handle behavior that, that in the press we kind of work to push against. Although, although, I mean, one thing that NPR does say is they are looking at the bigger context, and this isn't the first time for him, that if this was perhaps an isolated incident, uh, they might have handled it differently, but that they've had repeated experiences like this with him, and this was just the last straw. That's how they portray it. I, this is not coming from me, but that's, that's certainly the case that they're making. He did make a comment about Michelle Obama saying that she was uh, the Stokely Carmichael of her day in uh, In a designer designer dress. dress. You know, one of the issues here, one of the things that created, I think, problems uh, from NPR's point of view is that one Williams, who is also a friend of mine, one Williams' role in the two outlets was different. In NPR, he is an analyst, so to be analyze the news, not comment on it. On Fox, he was a commentator. He was a liberal commentator offering that perspective on Fox. And they are different roles. And I think those of us who are journalists try hard to stay on one side of that line or the other. And to be on both sides, I think, mm. was one of the things that created Makes it problems. confusing. You know, interesting that Bill O'Reilly was on The View this week. Uh, offending people with his statement, Muslims killed us on 9-11. 
Yeah, that was another one of these media kerfuffles. You know, he appeared on this program, The View, and he made that comment that you that you allude to about Muslims killing us on 9-11. So two members of the host panel got up and walked out, and then he apologized, and then they walked back on. Uh, and that's what actually led to the discussion with Juan Williams. Um, and so I think what all this stuff says to us, the discussion of the 9-11, of, of the mosque, of 9-11, um, these media episodes we've been talking about is simply that the country is still in the throes of a very difficult discussion about Islam and Muslim extremists, and there's a lot of heated feelings on both sides, and those seem to me like issues that we just haven't resolved, and until we do, there's probably going to be further episodes like this. Would you agree with that, Susan? We're going to continue to... You know, lots of people are saying, how come there wasn't this kind of outrage over Helen Thomas? Well, there there was a fair amount of outrage over Helen Thomas, and but she no one was, forced was to supporting her. No one was supporting her. There were a lot of people who expressed outrage, saying she had no right to say those mm-hmm. things. Very few people supporting her. And you're listening to the Diane Rehm Show.